So my experience from a few congressional hearings and other kinds of places where I've run into what I call climate change deniers is that typically they will pick a either a small segment of data that supports their argument. You know, they'll find a weather station where over the years the climate has cooled. They'll ignore 50 where it warmed. And they'll ignore the fact that a rational person trying to talk about regional changes in temperature would want to average as many stations as possible. And so the one that's gotten cooler gets lost in the averages. But they'll focus on a, a small segment of data and present that to the public as a, as a gee, look at this. This dif uh, dismisses the idea of, of global climate change. Um, many times, for instance, I saw a Senate hearing recently in which one of the senators pointed out that uh, over, the, over long periods of Earth's history that the Earth's temperature changes due to uh, variations in its orbit and the angle in which the planet is displayed to the sun. Absolutely true. But it's not an argument against ongoing, recent, dramatic climate change. These are the kinds of things that play out over thousands of years, tens of thousands of years. Um, and uh, we're talking about changes that are happening rapidly that will happen in the next century or so, uh, and at rates uh, that have are absolutely unprecedented and dwarf the geologic rate of, of these changes in Earth's orbit.